all right guys what's good with y'all welcome back to another video today i'm going to be showing you something absolutely insane 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 all right so i finally figured out how to record your oculus quest on the pc bro all right so first thing first i do got to mention you guys do got to spend some money on this because there's no other way no other way so you guys will have to buy this insane product it's called an a capture card all right you can go on elgato and see what they got you can go on amazon it's like 200 dollars for the one i have uh and also before buying this you guys want to make sure you guys have a PC pcie express kit a port you know where your graphics card plugs in or the other part where like small things plug in you can see right on the screen i'm showing you how it looks like you know right uh also and also another thing you want to make sure you to look after is if the capture card has an h264 encoder because the ga capture card is going to take all the strain off of your uh graphics card and you you know to record so you can play your game while you record with the capture card all right so i'm going to show you guys how to set up the capture card first and i'm going to show you guys how to connect your oculus and to have a stream through the capture card so you can get your smooth smooth 60 fps footage and if you guys don't believe if it works here is a before and after so you can see right here no right here some booty dookie graphics bro i mean not graphics quality bro like it's jittery right anyways this game is poorly optimized anyway so if you go on a smooth one obviously this list is a whole lot smoother with this method but as you can see there are some little bit jitters and stuff and that's in game that's in game that's not the capture card capture card had no problem recording this this is all in game this game is very very high demand um and stuff so that you know that is what it is but without further ado let me show you guys how to set up the capture card so let's move over to my phone all right as you goofballs can see I am on my cellular device, so let's make it over to my PC. Yes, it does look pretty cool, but it's weak as shit with this 1660 Ti. No, I'm joking, dude. This VR or this this GPU is pretty decent for how much it was, you know. But here we go. We got the HD60 Pro madly plugged in. Oh, that's dusty. We got it madly plugged into the PCIe port. Now another disclaimer this this hd60 pro only works with hdmi right unfortunate i wish it did with display port but it only works with hdmi so let me show you guys how to have it set up so what i would recommend guys is to have one display port all right that's for your main monitor i'm assuming you guys do have a monitor that has a display port and an hdmi if you don't level up please but here we go we got the a display port plugged into my main monitor right and then we have the hdmi plugged into the gpu and it's outputting in to the uh elgato so there's going to be a thing it's called in you can see right here that's where you're going to want to plug in your graphics card and then there's going to be an output so now you want to plug in an hdmi into the output you want to drag the hdmi to either the hdmi in your main monitor or if you do have a second monitor drag the hdmi into your second monitor but Probably a lot of people only have one monitor, so you guys are gonna want to drag it into your main monitor. So that way, with only one monitor, you guys have both your HDMI and DisplayPort plugged in. Why do you guys have this? Well, first of all, when you have your card, it won't display at first. You gotta download drivers. So if you have the HDMI, if you have the HDMI port or DisplayPort, if you have the DisplayPort plugged in, you guys can kind of just switch it like a TV. You guys go here. And then you go just go to input select or whatever it is and you can ch select your display port or hdmi obviously you want to be on your display port this is exactly what your graphics card is outputting so you can see what you're doing you don't got to worry about the hdmi because your capture card is going to record it and when you open up obs and then select your elgato capture card it's going to output uh your monitor so anyways that's pretty much the gist that's how you guys have to set up uh, and anyways, let's get back into the uh, the screen right here, you know, so. All right, guys, so that is how you set up the capture card. You know, it obviously works with one monitor, but I have two. It makes life a whole lot easier. The second one I got for free from one of my buddies. He just handed it over to me. He's like, bro, go, go fuck yourself off with this thing. I'm like, she, I bet. So I left. So, you know, I got the second monitor. Hype, hip, hip, hip. But yeah, anyways, now let me show you guys how to set up the Elgato capture card on your you know uh obs first thing first you guys want to make sure you guys do have these drivers okay 
okay so once you guys have these drivers you can start setting it up so let's make this webcam smaller so let's move it away boom infinite view all right so what you guys are going to come down is you're going to come down to the source so i already have one let me just remove it for the sakes of this tutorial i already have one so what you guys are going to do is you're going to click add video capture device now if you don't know what a video capture device is some outside source that captures video capture card webcam piss simple booty all right, anyways elgato boom it's that easy bro i swear to god dude if you get an elgato it'll be the best 200 dollars of your life if you're too scared to spend that 200 because you're like oh i'm losing this 200 bro then don't exist you just don't you're just not meant to succeed bro if you if you don't see the output then you like your input is dookie bro like what are you doing dog just like if you if you struggle with that shit bro like just set like 10 percent, 5 percent of your paycheck aside within a few days you know, you'll, you'll have your capture card. And, bro, I'm, I'm fucking 14, uh, you know, and I was making 3000 a month from construction. So, you know, if, if you're struggling, like, just stop. Just stop. All right, anyways, let's go. So, we got our capture card right here. It's going to be an option, HD60 Pro. But, oh, my Discord. Oh, oh. All right, and boom. So, you select your capture card. You can see this is my second monitor. And uh, you can just resize it. Let me just resize it for y'all just to make it easier. Click OK. That's, that's pretty much about it. Oh, man. That's clean. Mm. <laughs> Damn, that should make me go donkey berserk. Bro. All right. Anyways, once you got that set up, now you got your capture card working. Now, let me explain to you how to use your capture card and not your graphics card. So when you look down at your sources, switch windows. When you look down at your sources right here where my arrow is, what you guys are going to want to make sure is that your capture card is enabled and all your other sources are dis disabled. You know, like uh, your screen recording sources. You only want your capture card enabled because if your capture card is enabled and whatever window you have open in here, um, you can record or your, well, your capture card is going to record it and it's sending it to OBS. And then when you start recording with OBS, um, you know, it'll be you know, all chill, all chill. It's going to be real smooth. Obviously, the game that I showed you was not very well optimized. It was jittery, but I promise you guys, this is really smooth. I tried on other stuff, buttery smooth. But anyways, that's the Elgato part. That's the capture card part. Now let's get into the Oculus part. So what you guys want to do, or what you guys are going to want to do, is hook up your Oculus, bro. It's really that easy. Bro. Let me show you guys how I have my Oculus hooked up. All right, so you can see I got my cable right here, uh, and like this. You probably don't need a cable. You can use the Air Link, but I use the cable because... Like, who in their right mind plays PC games, like, wirelessly? You know, that, that doesn't add up. But I recommend a wire. If you have poopy dookie internet, I would get a wire, my boy. But when you guys have this wire set up, you're like, bro, it's not displaying. Well, because you need to get the app, goofball. Okay, you want to go on Google. And you literally, like, this is the hardest part of the whole thing, dude. All right, but anyways, once you guys have this plugged in, you guys want to use this insane source. It's called Google. I know. I don't think anybody heard from it because... People don't seem to know how to fucking use it. It pisses me off, bro. Like, you literally open up Google. This is super hard, by the way. That's probably why I don't use it. You, you have to use your brain and look up how to download Oculus app. Boom. And to make it even simpler, just look up Oculus app. Boom. It's right there. First link. Boom. See how hard that was? This is probably the most challenging part because you have to use Google, a source that is given you for free. Do not be stupid, and yet you still choose to. But anyways, once you guys get it and download this thing, um, this won't work unless you guys hit that subscribe button. You know, obviously, I, I don't, I don't, you know, I can barely read, so I like the pictures. So I'm gonna describe to you guys what I see. Big red rectangle. Click that shit. Boom. This shit will start working. I don't know how it just does. But anyways, once you guys did that, boom. Hop over to your Oculus. You know, you obviously got it plugged in, turned on. Now, this is how you set it up. Obviously, you want to add your headset and then, you know, uh, link, continue, and then finish setting up. I already have it set up, but it's piss simple. Piss simple. But anyways, once you guys have that set up, there's going to be two things before you can get to streaming it, you know. So first thing first, there's going to be this box that pops up. Let me show you. All right, boom. You see this big ass box? This is the first thing it's going to pick up. You want to get your controllers. Boom. Click allow. That 
piss simple. This will happen as soon as you turn your Oculus on and the link cable is connected. So you just want to allow, right? It was that easy, bro. I, like, there's really nothing to it. This next part is a little bit more difficult, but it's going to be Oculus Link. So here is the steps. You go to settings, quick actions, Oculus Link. Obviously, if you were to have your headset on and you click allow, it's going to pop up right in front of you. It's literally going to pop up like a notification on your cellular device. Um, and you just click it, Oculus Link, and boom. Once you click it, you will be in this white plane with the screen in front of you in a HUD. And that means it worked. Now, let me show you guys how to mirror it. So before we do this, one thing I want to mention, don't use Steam VR to stream your game. You can use Steam VR to play games. Don't use it to stream because it halves your FPS and it's dookie. It's dookie. Let's say you're playing a sim game, you 30 FPS, like you can't, you like the viewer can't like, like, can't like, you know, like, like see anything, bro. It's at 30. But anyways, how do you mirror? Well, too bad. Oculus doesn't let you mirror that easily. What you guys want to do is you want to go start menu and then you want to find the Oculus app and it's right here. You want to open folder location. Boom, it's going to show you where it is and you want to do it one more time, open file location. It's going to be here. This is obviously not the right page. You want to go back to support. Boom, just like that. And then Oculus diagonal click stick. You click that shit. See, I can barely read. I don't even know what the fuck that says, bro. Um, and then you want to click Oculus mirror and I got to put my headset on real quick. And boom, here we are. This is how you guys set it up. Obviously, this is on my main monitor. Um, if this is on your first monitor, you can just keep it here, you know, full screen it and get your OBS. Make sure it's now it's switched to Elgato right here and it'll work. But because I have a second monitor, what I'm going to do is I'm going to drag it over to my second monitor. And because it's being displayed through my Elgato, it's going to record it. Now, audio, let's set up your audio. So I don't really know if the mirror outputs any audio, but what I have is I have a Bluetooth headset that I hook up, you know, uh, to hear stuff so I can hear it and you guys can hear it too. But let me show you how to set up the audio. So when you're in the Oculus app, you guys want to go to devices, click on your device and boom, right here, audio. This is input and this is obviously the output. Uh, so the input is what I'm, what I mean by input is microphone and what I mean by output is headset. So I use my windows default headset and I'm to use my windows microphone, you know, default. Uh, and that's pretty much about it. That's how you get your audio working. I'm not too sure about Oculus mirror. I couldn't really tell you that information. Um, but if you guys do have some kind of Bluetooth headphone headset, you guys probably got AirPods. You guys can hook up your AirPods to your PC and just use that, you know, that easy, bro. And if you do have a mic, you can just make it louder for them to hear you. Or if you're just sitting down, it's probably not too big of a deal. But if you're playing like VR chat or something, you might want to consider something like that. But uh, yeah, anyways, guys, this is going to be the end of the video. I really hope this helps. This is like my fourth time re recording it because I, I keep messing up. It's so annoying. So if you guys like, you know, really appreciate it, uh, you guys can hit that subscribe button if you want, obviously. Uh, that that was just like that'd be insane. We're so close to a thousand subs, and dude, it's been it's been a long dream to like get this far, and I just didn't really know how to get this far. Um, but I've been growing my YouTube lately uh, pretty well, so it's real nice to know that I'm finally getting somewhere where I really imagined myself to be and haven't got there, and I'm just really close to reaching that goal. Um, and also hit that like button if you guys want. So you know, just. Just, you know show your gratitude you know because I, I helped you guys we, you know do this you know you guys can help me back if you want of course but i'm gonna go uh, i gotta edit this video and i gotta do some other stuff because man i've been just on this video over and over trying to get it perfect for you guys so anyways i'm a dip and uh, i'll see you guys later peace